Hey guys, today I'm going to present problem 4 from this year's IMO. This was the only geometry problem from this year, so let's take a look at the picture. We have given a triangle A, B, C with in center I and in circle omega. We consider the second tangent to omega that is parallel to AC and denote its intersection with side BC with X. Similarly, Y is the intersection of BC with the second tangent of omega that is parallel to side AB. Furthermore, let P be the midpoint of arc BC that doesn't contain A. So P is the second intersection of AI with the circumcircle of triangle ABC. Lastly, we denote the midpoint of side AC with K and the midpoint of side AB with L. Our task is to prove that the sum of the orange and the blue angle is 180 degrees. So we have to prove KIL plus angle YPX is equal to 180 degrees. In this diagram, there's not much we can do with points K and L. To solve this, we consider the homothety at A with factor 2. This sends K to point C and L to point B because those are the midpoints of the two sides. And so we want to lastly consider the image of point i that I will denote by a prime. Therefore, by similarities of triangles k i l and c a prime b, we can deduce that angles k i l and angle c a prime b are equal. Notice that a prime is also just the reflection of a at i. Moreover, this line namely the second tangent of omega that is parallel to AC, is nothing but the reflection of AC at I. Therefore, the reflection of X at I is the intersection of AC with the second tangent of omega that is parallel to BC. Similarly, if we intersect that line with AB, we get the reflection of Y at I. This motivates us to reflect angle YPX at I to get a new and equal angle y prime p prime x prime. Since we want to prove that the sum of the orange and the blue angle equals 180 degrees, we would like to construct a cyclic quadrilateral such that the orange and blue angles are opposite. We can indeed achieve this here by considering the homothety at A that sends y prime to B and x prime to C. Let's denote the image of P prime under that homothety that is going to be way up here with P star. Therefore, we get that triangles P star BC and P prime Y prime X prime are similar. Furthermore, let us denote the scaling factor of this homothety with alpha. So alpha equals AB divided by Ay prime, which is also equal to Ac divided by Ax prime. By definition of P star, alpha is equal to Ap star divided by Ap prime. As I already mentioned, we want to show that angle C A prime B plus angle B P star C is equal to 180 degrees, or in other words, that this is a cyclic quadrilateral. Since we know something about distances, we want to use power of a point to prove this. Therefore, we consider the intersection of diagonals of this quadrilateral, which is the intersection S of BC and AI. So by power of a point, our claim, or what we need to show, is equivalent to BS times SC equal to P star S times SA prime. Note that to be able to apply power of a point, we need these two signed products to be equal to conclude that our quadrilateral is cyclic. But we already know that S lies in the interior of BC and in the interior of A prime P star, and therefore we don't have to worry about signs from now on. We already know that points A, B, P and C lie on a circle, and therefore by a second application of power of a point, we get that BS times SC is equal to AS times SP. On the right side, we first want to get rid of P star. So we first notice that P star S is equal to AS 
plus p star a, but p star a is nothing but alpha times a p prime. For s a prime, we can also write a s prime, where s prime is the reflection of s at i. This is useful because s prime is the intersection of x prime, y prime, and a i. Therefore, the image of s prime under our homotopy at a is nothing but s. In other words, a s divided by a s prime is equal to alpha. Now that we have the right side in this form, we turn our attention to the left side again. And in particular, we will write s p first as s prime p prime, and then split this up into the sum of a s prime plus a p prime. So we get that this equals a s times a s prime plus a p prime. And subtracting a s times a s prime from both sides, we get that this equality is equivalent to alpha a p prime times a s prime is equal to a s times a p prime. But since alpha is equal to a s divided by a s prime, the left side is nothing but a p prime times a s, which is what we needed to show. And therefore, we are done.